A small mountain community mourns the death of two DOT workers killed in a tragic accident. News 13's Rex Hodge has our continuing coverage from the Western News Center. And Rex, how are people coping and what's the latest on the investigation? The news in Cherokee County is just settling in. Difficult even for the sheriff who knew the victims here. Meanwhile, the highway patrol has reconstructed the accident scene on Friday. Investigators want to know exactly why a driver ran off the road and into the path of a DOT work crew. DOT workers here are known by everybody. They work out in the communities. This is where a DOT crew was working Friday afternoon when tragedy struck. Cherokee County Sheriff Keith Lovin knew both men killed, Danny Burrell and Tony Wright. Burrell personally. I knew one of these men personally, and, and you know, to have such a tragedy touch our community uh, is really tough. They were good men. They were, they were family men. I uh, had a lot of children and grandchildren. Uh, you know, like I said, it, this is, we're a close knit community. The Highway Patrol is investigating why 65-year-old Richard Roberts of Murphy drove his SUV off the road, striking the crew, finishing up work for the day. It was a DOT work crew of six workers. They were here along Highway 60 just outside of Murphy doing some drainage work over here. Two fatalities, but the four others were not hurt. Just by the, the, the God's blessings that, you know, that they wouldn't hurt or injure to kill. There's work going on from here to... There are work sites all over Western North Carolina this summer, a dangerous job. We try to be set up, be safe, safe as possible, but you know, some things you can't, you just can't plan for. Crews taking note of this accident and reminding drivers to be watchful for their signs. I mean, we set them up, you know, uh, for everybody's safe, not just ours, but for everybody else's driving down the road. Sheriff Lovin agrees, knowing how dangerous these jobs can be, especially with extra summer traffic. And he knows it will take time for his county to recover. Flags outside the sheriff's office flying at half staff, marking the loss. They're helping people every occasion they have. And that's just what doing their day. They're doing their job. And, and it's just tragic that uh, this happened. Richard Roberts was taken to a hospital in Tennessee for treatment. He has now been released. The Highway Patrol says charges are pending. Reporting live tonight from the Western News Center, Rex Hodge, News 13.